Hello. In this tutorial we will show you, how to index a book using a list of terms, that we will be defining inside the PDF Index Generator program. We will index a book titled, Family Budget. We have collected a list of suggested index terms from the book, and we have inserted it in a text file, as you can see here. The program is smart enough to understand header and subheader terms in this list of terms, as we have defined this relation right through indentation. Those terms are normal words, as they don't have any indentation before them. And this term here has a couple of terms found below it, that appear indented using the tab button, on the keyboard. When the program sees this, it will figure out that this term is a header word and those terms are subheaders for it. It's important to use tab indentation to do that, and not spaces. Spaces will be ignored by the program. The same applies for this index term. This is a header word, and those are subheader words for it. But those terms here have double tab indentation, so the program will figure out that those terms are sub-subheader words, for this subheader word. You can define three levels of subheader terms, but we do not advise using this deep level of words, as it distracts the book reader. Let's move to the program. We will define this list of terms inside it, then index the book using it. We are now in step one of the program. Drag and drop the book that we want to index. Then click Tools, Settings. Include Exclude Words. Include Words. The Include Words feature, is the feature that we can use to define one or more list of terms, to index our book using them. We can import the text file containing the collected entries to the program using this link, or we can add them to a new category manually using the Add Category button. And that is what we will do. Click the Add Category button. We will rename this category. Family Budget Category Let's copy our entries from the text file. And we will paste them here. Each entry here should be written in one line. Now when we use this category to index our book, the program will set the word types for all those keywords in Step 3 automatically just as we have set them here through the indentation. Click Save to save the category. Click OK to apply the settings. Click Next to move to Step 2. We will choose the option Index Specific Words in the book, to choose the category that we have just created to use it. Click the Include Words link. Enable the Family Budget category to use it. Enable the option Index those words only. It will force the program to index the terms in the selected list only, and ignore any other terms in the book. Click OK to apply the settings. Click on the Generate Index button, to start generating the index for the specified book. Done. Let's move to Step 3, to check the generated index. As you can see, the program has indexed only the terms in our include category, which is what we've wanted. The word types of the index terms has been defined automatically, just as described in our list of terms. We can still modify the word type of any term here. This can be done through various ways. For example, if we want to set the word timely budget as a header word, we can right click it then set its word type to a header word. We can also double click it, to open its edit window, then change its word type from the selection box. Notice that if you will set this word type to a header word, this button will become enabled. This button allows you to select all the subheaders for this header word. We will click cancel for now. 
Let's check how the final index looks like. Click Next. We will write this index to a new PDF file. Click Start Writing. Success! Let's open the index file. As you can see the indentation for the subheader words appears as expected. The headers and subheaders feature is very useful. It helps you group the entries related to each other, so the book reader can easily reach the entry he is looking for, with less effort. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you.